and welcome to our next tutorial. Today, we are going to make a heart spinner. I know, we've made some of these in the past, spinners that is, but this time we're gonna make the center spin. It's awesome, trust me. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing we need is a heart. I know some of you have been saying that for a long time. So I'm gonna type in the word heart. Now for me, when I type that in, I get this one here. You may not. So if you do not, whoa, that is a huge heart. If you do not, I will put one in the link so you can play with it and use it in this particular tutorial. My goodness, that's a huge heart. I'm gonna hit and hold the shift button and move this down to 20. Yeah, right there, okay. That is a decent size heart. Now, I'm not sure if you noticed, but this heart, oh look, my actual heart. By the way, this is what my actual heart looks like. That's the exact shape and size of my heart. But let's move on. Whoa, need to let it go. I can't let it go. Apparently the computer likes it too much. Oh, okay, finally, I know. It was hard to let go, but I had to do it. So if you notice, this one down here is flat at the bottom. So we're gonna take this heart right here. And of course, we're going to break it. Just like the last time you got the test results from your last spelling test. So I'm just gonna make this bigger than the actual heart right there. And I'm gonna change this to five. All right, so that's the height. But now I want this whole thing to be under the, actually, is it right there? Yeah, actually, we're good. Change it to five. I'm gonna group these two. And then that should be fine right there. Did I get it? Did I do it right? I think I did. I'm gonna click on this. I'm gonna hit the letter D. That way it goes straight down. I think we're good to go. Okay, so the next step is to get a paraboloid. Oh wait, wrong word, hyperboloid. You're gonna find that in the shape generators. It's usually right here in the top left. Yep, hyperboloid. And I'm just gonna drag it over here once it lets me drag it over here. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I'm going to, right now the, sh the dimensions are 20 by 20. Whoa, let's increase the sides here. There you go. So smooth. I'm gonna change the height to 15 right there. The reason I do that is because the height of this one right here is 15. Actually, hold on, let me zoom in here because I see a line. Did you see a line? I see a line. I wonder if that's gonna get in the way later. I hope not. Okay, now it looks like it's at the center, but let's just make sure by selecting both, I'm clicking and dragging right there. I'm gonna hit the letter L. You could click on the align tool there. Click here, click there, and now I know for sure that this thing is aligned. This is the center. So now I'm gonna change, I'm gonna duplicate this one because I'm gonna use another one just like it over here. I'm gonna change that to a hole and now I'm gonna group these two. Watch and group. Mm, yep, any second now. So this is gonna leave a hole in your heart just like your last relationship. So now I'm going to, <coughs> sorry, just thinking of my last relationship with the pizza I had last night, too much for me. So I'm going to shrink this. I'm gonna hit the, sh the, the shift button. I'm gonna hold it down while I shrink this and I'm gonna shrink it down by three millimeters. Right now, when I click on this, it's 15. So I'm gonna go to 12. Okay, I'm gonna go 12. Oops, one more. And then I'm gonna click away, click back on the hyperboloid and then Without hitting shift, I'm gonna drag this back up. Yes, I had a lot of students' prints failed because they forgot to do that part in particular. Okay, so now I'm gonna select both, align right there. All right, so we're almost done here, okay? I personally don't like that much space. I probably would have made it a little bit bigger, but for some reason when I print it at anything bigger or anything closer to the edge, it tends to stick together. Feel free to try different lengths, but this is the one that's working for me. So I I would suggest you decorate this in some ways. I am going to, now I could put that pizza there, but come on, 
too obvious. You could put a star. You could put a, an initial, a letter or something. Uh, I think I do have a letter somewhere. No, did I get rid of it? I did. So I'm going to, by the way, I clicked on text. I'm going to click the letter A because obviously who doesn't want an A? Uh, yeah, a lot of you based on what I'm seeing. And I'm going to hit shift and just shrink it a little bit. I'm going to drag it over here and move it up with that little black arrow thing. I'm going to hit F so I can focus. And right there. I'm going to hit shift and shrink it down just a little bit more. Okay, so now we have that. Now, I don't think it's centered. I'm going to change the snap grid to something smaller so I can make it a smoother um, shift. Okay. Now here's, that's not it. We're almost done, but we have one more thing we need to do and don't know what that is. Okay. So I'm going to look underneath here. I'm going to try to look underneath here. Let me focus on this and then rotate underneath. That's better. Now to make it uh, move underneath, what you need is some sort of break here, but you can't just split it in half. Otherwise this thing won't work because you know, you'll get rid of that. So we need to get rid of about half of this. I'm going to use this thing right here. This is called a half sphere. All right. And what we want to do, I'm going to make this just a little bit wider. Let's say 30. 30 is fine. Okay. And then I'm just going to move it so that it's taking about half. Now, the reason I don't use a block is because I do want there to be some sort of curvature inside of here. Okay, so now I have this thing selected. I'm going to select the green thing right there and group them. And what you're going to have is the ability to hold this and then with a the finger turn that around. So whatever you have over here. Oh, I made a mistake. Uh, can I stop it? I forgot to make this part. Oh, yeah. Let me undo that. I forgot to make this part into a hole right there. Now I'm going to shift and hold that and then group them. And this should be disappearing right around there. Any second now, it should be going away. Trust me. Yeah, well, that's going to, oh, there, there it is. See, I wasn't lying completely, just mostly. Okay. So now we have done we are done with this thing now please be careful do not let anyone play with your heart and if you are in my class feel free to raise your hand and say mr imparo no one is going to play with my heart and we are done have a great day enjoy and again don't let anyone play with your heart <laughs>